Oh my goodness. You guys just missed 30 to 40 to 50 minutes of freaking technical errors. Anyway, so today's video, it is dated. And this is pre-RAM. You can see it here. Um, but guys, I, I wanted to, you know, talk about this, uh, this match that I had. It was actually one of the funnest matches that I've had. Um, I mean, we were just... I mean, we, we were just constantly like shitting on each other, just doing whatever. Um, we actually ended up losing this match mainly because I was a dumbass at the end. Um, but it also has one of my best maestro plays, surprisingly. Um, I, I know that sounds weird in the same match, you know, but um, yeah, I, I just wanted to talk about this match and record some footage of match replay. I have never used match replay though, so I, I'm not very acquainted with how match replay works um but yeah this first round is a complete flop um i played with this team like a little bit before you know um and i just kind of ran in actually what happened there is i actually heard the two people on the right and lesion which i saw on my sites um but it was basically a 3v1 and i don't think anyone can win that in that situation um, even with the how they are lined up, but anyway, let's get to the maestro gameplay because I don't think anything Nothing crazy happens in two or three. I think it's at four round four where it happens. Um But yeah, I have like a really good maestro play and make sure to look at the assist because um, It's not like you know, I'm fragging out and killing everyone. You know, it's not like one of those plays it's like I actually used my utility and you know, I did everything correctly Ideally, this is like like the perfect round, in my opinion, when you're playing Maestro. Now I know Maestro doesn't really have that much of a pick right now, um, or in a while, actually. Um, also, this impact that Zombie threw um, actually came in clutch, because the Maestro cam, I was able to put it there. And then you'll see with this barricade, but it's actually like really good. But this is probably like one of my best Maestro um plays or rounds or whatever you want to say um now you know a lot of my maestro rounds i actually do like you know I, I actually do fairly well with maestro um maestro just covers so much ground does so much slows the enemy down and yeah um this goyo as well this goyo play is actually kind of crazy but yeah, uh, you guys will see what happens. Um, I was uh, another thing about me and Maestro is that I always roam with Maestro. That's just something that I always do. I don't know why. I mean, I wouldn't say it's necessarily the best operator to roam with, and I almost lose this because I almost whiffed. But luckily, I do frag out here. Um, but yeah, I get the first pick on Ash. Pretty good, right? Um, and then I go back on cams, I believe. And you will see what happens when I get on cams because I unleash some chaos, bro. Like, dude, it is not even like funny, bro. Right? No one there. But then Dogabi, for some reason, is in sight, thinks that they can plant with a Maestro cam right next to them. No idea why they thought. And then Slegs is right here. Luckily, I had a teammate right there because, damn. And then I get the, the finish with Slegs. And then I'm still tagging Dokubi. Fuse is in sight as well. Um, but then I'm able to get a line of sight on Fuse. And let me let me pause right there. There is nothing that that Fuse could have done. And no one can... Let me have it refresh. It's way slower um, than on PC. But there is like nothing that that Fuse could actually do. Um, I'm going to show you the bird's eye view. But basically you have the maestro right here the little bubble right there and then also the visual or whatever yeah that's a visual right there and then you have the goyo holding the cross so it's like you're literally getting tagged from three different angles um and there's nothing you can do there and i will show you why and it has to do both with the goyo canister and the maestro bubble but this is like dang everything this was like the perfect round I'm sorry for that peak. I think it peaks, but whatever. This was like the perfect round. And like this round to me is like 
I get a lot of rounds that are like these, but this one just everything lined up perfectly, you know? Boop, poo poo. But yeah, Doka could be still over there getting tagged, whatever, and then she dies to the visual, is it? I don't know exactly who she dies to, actually. I think she does die to the visual. Yeah, she must. Um, but then Fuse is right here. The cross is happening. I shoot the Goyo canister. His screen is shaking. There's nothing you can do here. Like, maybe you could have vaulted over the couch, but like, damn. I really had him in the corner. Like, literally, there's like nothing you could have done here. Oh, what happened to his body? Max replay is weird, we all know that. But like, dude, I feel so bad for this fuse. They were just, I mean, they were like, it's your typical, dang, what is happening to this body? Yeah, he's supposed to be like over here and he's dead or whatever. But, um, oh dang, this is a, this is really awkward. Yeah, Max replay is weird. I wish I got this like, obviously live. I should have been hitting the record button, but I just didn't for some reason. Um, I have no idea what's happening here, but there's like nothing you could have done in this situation. Again, you could have vaulted, but then Goyo's right there, Vigil's right here, Vigil would have seen you over here, so, and then you got the bubble right here, so it's like, dang, bro, I was holding everything, and notice my assist. Um, I started out with one assist at the beginning of the round. Um, and then obviously, you know, you just see the last person here. So it's like, it's a 2v, it's a 2v1 scenario, a 3v1 technically, but like, you know, I still have to go get upstairs somehow, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I just start tagging her, whatever. And once they get this last kill, we already know where she is. And then if I need to, I'm just going to rotate upwards. But like, once we get this last kill, it's like, dang. I had a hand in killing everyone in the single game because I killed or I tagged Sledge and I actually, you know, finished the down. And then I tagged Sophia at the end and then I tagged Dokubi who was trying to plant, couldn't plant because of me. And then Fuse just got caught in a crossfire and then obviously I killed the Ash at the beginning. So it's like, this is why I love Maestro. Maestro causes a lot of chaos. Now if the operators chosen were using their you know gadgets correctly like possibly like ash if ash didn't die in the first couple of minutes like yeah ash could have done something you know would have seen my my bubble on the top of what is it um where's it at would have seen my bubble up here y you know it's like it, it, it's so it, it, you know it's like yeah, if they were playing more tactical, but this is a very Call of Duty mindset um, meta right now. And you guys will see it in round 9 as well, because dude, like, oh my goodness. I don't know what I was doing, I, I was going for the play that I thought they were going for gadgets, because I play castle, right? So I thought they were going to go for gadgets, especially after they knocked out one of my first castles. But no, they, like, all five of them were in sight. Like, I was like, dang. So yeah, um, that's kind of all I wanted to show you guys, to be honest. I don't know what else to show you guys. Um, I mean, you can see me having an epic, like, fail if you want. Like, just like, what am I doing moment, you know? But yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to show you guys, because it's like, dude, these moments happen a lot, and then I don't hit record, and I'm like, damn. I should have been recording, but I just wasn't, right? So yeah, they knock out the first uh, castle and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, castle this off. But then I didn't realize that the other two are already in sight. So it's like, dang, they just captured Psyche so quickly. But yeah, um, that's kind of all I wanted to show you guys. Um, it was just that one round and uh, yeah. Also, I don't know how I feel about free cam. Free cam's kind of cool. But yeah, if you guys did like, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will be having more, like, tutorial guides, whatever. Uh, I'm a very... who is it? I'm a very, like, Maestro-centric player, so, like, Maestro is one of my mains. One of the first operators I played won the game, you know, when I first touched a game. 
Um, so he's one of my favorite operators and I love him to death. I love the setups he can do. I love everything about him. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that one clip or whatever of me. Uh, obviously I have more clips. I just have to hit record next time, bro. But like, if you guys did enjoy it, again, make sure to leave like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, more C content around the corner, more Smash content, more whatever content. I don't know. I'll put something out there. I don't know. Something. But yeah, anyway, I will see you guys later. Peace. Hopefully this video works out because I, I've, this is my fourth time trying it, I swear. Like the audio wouldn't work at first and then the video wouldn't work at first. And then I think like there was a mix of both and then my capture card at the beginning, this one wouldn't work. So I, I don't know, hopefully it works. If it doesn't, whatever. And again, um, this video is dated. Like I, I, I will say that again, this video is dated, but um, I wanted to talk about this before I go and play some more matches. And then like, because you can see here, like I've been playing matches, right? Like, I, I just play matches all day long. So, like, you know, I just wanted to talk about this video before I go and play some more matches and then I can't recover the, the file, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, I will stop rambling in peace. Damn, bro. Oh my goodness. Okay. I gotta get my shit together.